that we saw Yehuda's you know special dish, and this is my friend Joey here, his son. And uh, where are we at again? Tiberius. Tiberius where? On the Sea of Galilee. I still, the Holy I still can't believe I'm here. It's phenomenal. And this is his wife, Amy, and she's going to show us a special dish. Yeah. Amy is going to speak in Hebrew, okay. and Joey's going to translate for her. Okay, what she's making now is uh, like spicy fish. Okay. It's sort of uh, chayme, something like that. Uh -huh. It's called hindu. But uh, it's something, a special Moroccan fish. Okay. Special recipe. And now what she started doing, today we're going to do it with St. Peter's fish. Awesome. Okay, that is cleaned already before. Now let's, let's talk about the clean fish first. Okay. Now I saw Amy preparing the fish. And you said there's two ways of preparing this fish. One with the head on and one with the head off. Now, now what's the distinction between the two? Why would you do one or, or the other? Look, I, my family doesn't care if there is a head because for us it doesn't matter because in the end you don't eat the head, you just eat the fish. Okay. But for her family, um, for them when the fish has a head, so it looks like it look, it's looking at you. Right. So they don't like, they just take it off. They take the head off. So I think I'm gonna eat at Amy's family then because I'm with them. I don't like the fish looking at me either. But I can see both ways. But those are the cool things in Israel that you find, even with families that live close to each other, even food is a little bit different and they take things and make it their own way, which is kind of what I do on my shows is, Recipes are recipes, but you can kind of, you know, make it your own. And if you don't want the fish head on, you don't have to have the fish head on, right? Good. Right. So what is Amy doing now? So what she's doing now, she's getting the pan prepared for the fish. And we have over here carrots that's sliced. She has garlic, red pepper. And that's whole garlic, and that's the way to do it. Yeah, mind. whole, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah. That gives it the... the Okay, it, she says it is better with this kind of uh, uh, hot pepper. Hot pepper, okay. Like, you see, you have this all ready. Okay, so you base everything on the bottom first. Yes, okay. yes, base everything on the bottom, and then she'll start putting the fish in the sauce. Okay. She made a sauce, like only she took a tomato, they put it with a pump, or how do you say this? Uh, so it's a grater. Yeah. So instead of chopping the tomato, you put it through the grater. You're right. Wow. We go to the grater and then tell you that. Okay, Amy, that's that's another Riley tip of the week that I do. But now, because of you, I'm gonna next time I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna try the grater with the tomato. I've never thought about doing that before. Ah. So thank you. Okay. You're okay Amy. now. Okay, now she's gonna make the sauce. The sauce. Okay. This is all good. Paprika. Paprika. I got it. Paprika. paprika. Okay. Uh, two, two, uh, two uh, big spoons. Teaspoons. Teaspoons. Tablespoons. Tablespoons. Big. Yes. Big. Paprika. One tablespoon uh, of uh, hot pa uh, paprika. Okay. Hot. So you have two paprika. You have, yeah. You have the sweet one. Like, I mean, you have the sweet one. Two okay. uh, tablespoons, and you have the uh, hot one, hot for free. one okay. tablespoon. Okay, half te uh, tablespoon of uh, pepper, and half tablespoon of salt. Okay. 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 Oh. Cumin. Uh, cumin. Well, uh, cumin. Cumin, yes. Yeah. Uh, third. Third of a tablespoon cumin. Okay. Uh, Soup powder. Okay, so or bouillon, or which bouillon. we use in the yeah. States, but same thing. Okay. Yes. Okay. Same and regular uh, canola oil. Canola oil. Yes. And uh, let's say one cup. Okay. Yeah. And then you mix it all together. That looks awesome. Now, Joey, when you told me, yes. you said you got to come over to my house and have this. My wife makes the best fish dish. Sure. And I'm like, I like fish, but maybe that's not where I go if I'm going to eat. But right now, I'm telling you, that looks better than anything I've ever seen. It's not even cooked yet. This is the best. Uh, you know, I think any gourmet and all that, you know, special uh, restaurant, this dish is one of the, the best ones. Awesome. Because I wait for the dinner on Friday, you know, Shabbat dinner. Uh -huh. So this is every Friday for you? Every Friday. So I need to fly in to Israel every yeah. week so Friday I can have this dish. She puts the fish inside the sauce that we just now made over right. here. And wow. Put it over here. So the skin is down. Okay. And the, the meat is up. Is up. Yeah. Okay. And then. Okay. 
Wow. It's a Moroccan mackerel by a dam. With the Moroccans, everything is with the hands, but I think everybody, hey. my father does that too. So. Amy, that's how I cook it up, with my hands. That's it. That's the only way to cook. If you don't love it, enjoy it, you shouldn't be doing it. So you know, let's get in and be friendly. Now she, she'll put some water. You don't uh, put it um, up to the fish, but let's say a little bit to have uh, like a... Um, uh, that's it. That's so in this case, about maybe an inch and a half to two inches in the pan. Um, yeah. So don't cover the fish. No, just not, cover not the fully. ingredients yes. that you started out with. Sure. Now we have some more herbs over here. Pitrozilia. Parsley. Yeah. Parsley. Yeah. Parsley. Yeah. But what we're doing right now, after we put the pan uh, on the fire, uh, for about 20 minutes we're gonna ha have it on high flame and then after 20 minutes we're gonna put it down to low flame and right now what Amy is doing she's putting the sauce on the fish and around all the pan for it not to get dried up so uh, after all together it takes half an hour we said 20 minutes in high flame then 10 minutes low flame with pouring some if with a tablespoon on the fishes and then another 20, 10 minutes after we just finish it and it's all done see ya